As you all know, when it comes to solo games development, you find yourself wearing a lot of different hats. You're not just a programmer, you're also a level designer, an artist, your quality assurance, your sound designing, as well as a lot of little other small things throughout. So in my quest to become a jack of all trades and most definitely a master of none, I have enrolled on the CGMA Creating Stylized Game Assets course, of which I was kindly provided access by CGMA themselves. This course is taught by Ashley Warner, who is currently a senior environment artist at Riot Games and previously worked at Blizzard on this little indie game called World of Warcraft. Each week, for the next 10 weeks, I'm going to be going over what the course entailed and showing off my work from each week. This is going to be a great chance for me to reflect back on kind of how far I've come and kind of share any tips and tricks that I've picked up from the course along the way. So hopefully you enjoy coming on this journey with me as I go from knowing nothing about creating stylized game assets to at least maybe knowing something. So each week on a Tuesday, new pre-recorded lectures are added to the course. Uh, for you to make your way through and it kind of at your own pace and these seem to follow a similar format of explaining the style of the task that week uh, a demo from Ashley on how she would tackle the task at hand, and then a homework assignment where you put to practice the stuff from the pre-recorded lectures. Week 1's task was to make a just a boring plain cube and paint it in three different styles. I chose to go for something medieval, modern and futuristic. The tools I used for this were Blender to UV the cube and 3D Coat and Photoshop to get the painting underway. I'm not very happy with this aircon unit I made, it's not very interesting, and I was still figuring out my workflow while doing this, as it was the first one I'd created. I really found my groove though when making the fantasy style lava well pit thing, and finally I created this sci-fi medical kit. Even though it's kind of plain like the aircon unit, I do think it's a lot better and I'm quite happy with the mix of clean lines, but also it's got that hand painted look to it too. The biggest takeaway from this is to make sure even plain surfaces have a lot of colour variation and that gives them a nice painterly look. So with the final cube done, I uploaded some screenshots of the cubes uh, to the CGMA site where I now have to wait for some feedback from Ashley, which I'll be able to share what that feedback was in the next video, hopefully. And this is the main thing that really drew me to the CGMA course. It's the fact that you get the, the feedback. When you're taking courses online, like on YouTube or Udemy or Skillshare, uh, you don't get that feedback like you're just doing the course. And if you're struggling with something, you kind of have to hope that the lecturer is you know, still available, still answering questions. Uh, they don't provide like individual specific feedback. It's usually just like basic kind of help. And I totally understand why you can't give that level of feedback to everyone, especially when you're getting like thousands of people watching a video. But the CGMA courses have a limited amount of seats. And once they're full, they don't take more people on. So, you know, Ashley's time isn't spread too far. It's also harder to find a community, I find, with these online courses. Whereas all the people that are enrolled on this course, there's a Discord uh, server where we can share works in progress, kind of give feedback on work as we go along. And we're all working at the same thing and we're at the same stage throughout the weeks. So it's not like, uh, you know, another you doing course that's been online for a few years and you're trying to find someone who's doing the exact same lesson as you and can remember it and has gone through it kind of recently to give you that feedback. And that's not to say I've not had some frustrations with the kind of platform that this is all delivered on. Uh, for example, the videos that are pre-recorded, they've clearly been pre-recorded uh, a while ago, like a few years ago, I guess. So Ashley in her videos isn't using the most up-to-date software. So with 3D Coat, it's an older version. Um, and some things have changed in the latest version, so that was a bit confusing at the start. But with that aside, that's week one done. I've really enjoyed that kind of week, and I feel like even you know within seven days, I've learned quite a lot about hand painting stylized assets. I've already started concepting the thing that we're going to do for week two, which is a stylized 2.5D uh, tree kind of diorama, and I'm really excited to see how far I can take that piece. Thanks again to CGMA for providing me access to this course. It's a great opportunity and I'm excited to be kind of along on this ride. If you'd like to learn more about CGMA or this course in particular, I'll have links in the description below. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.